You're listening to The Drag. In August 2005, Sharon Cave is sitting at her desk. In front of her, she has two phones, a yellow legal pad, and a T-Mobile call history list that belongs to her daughter, Jennifer. Sharon's been making phone calls to Jennifer's friends in Austin for several hours now, because Jennifer didn't show up to her new job. People who did see Jennifer the night before said she was out with her friend, a UT student named Colton Petaniak, and that they were celebrating Jennifer's new job. No one Sharon speaks to can tell her where Jennifer was after she left the bars with Colton. Sharon hasn't been able to get any information out of Colton, and neither have the police. Sharon and her boyfriend drive to Austin. They pull into the student neighborhood next to the University of Texas at Austin, and they pull up to Colton's place at the Orange Tree condos. Looking out onto the street, they see Jennifer's car, but she's nowhere to be found. And Colton, he isn't home. Sharon spotted this little broken piece of glass about the size of a nickel up in the corner of one of those windows. And we were able to pick that piece of glass out of there that eventually led to being able to get the window unlatched. That's when I went in through the window. Austin 911, Denise Police, Fire, or EMS. Please, where are you? Please, sorry. Our address of the emergency. It's at Orange Street Apartments, 25th Street. It's 25th Street. Ma'am, hello. Colton says he has no memory of what happened the night Jennifer was killed. But he does remember answering the door the next morning and finding another UT student named Laura Hall looking to help him. Later that day, Colton finds himself in the passenger seat of Laura's car, and they're driving to Mexico. I'm Haley Butler. And I'm Tanu Thomas. When we started this project, we were seniors at UT, 21 years old, just like Jennifer. In an upcoming podcast from The Drag, an audio production house out of the Moody College of Communication, we're going to tell you what happened one weekday night 15 years ago that turned three families' lives upside down. Subscribe to The Orange Tree wherever you listen to podcasts.